Well, not guilty pleas from Philadelphia City Council member Kenyatta Johnson and his wife to corruption charges. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands is at the federal courthouse in Center City with what happened today. Shante? Well, Jessica, Councilman Kenyatta Johnson and his wife were arraigned inside this federal courthouse. They stood outside afterwards and said that they're both innocent. I am innocent. Um, I look forward to exonerating my name in court. Walking hand in hand, leaving federal court, Philadelphia City Council member Kenyatta Johnson and his wife consultant Dawn Chaveau both pleaded not guilty to two counts each of honest services wire fraud. The pair surrendered to authorities earlier today. My position is, is the same as it was on these last couple of days. Um, I am innocent. Um, I have pleaded um, not guilty and I look forward to uh, my day in court to exonerate uh, my name. Johnson, who represents South Philadelphia in the city's second district, was named in a 22 count indictment alleging a wide range racketeering conspiracy. Federal prosecutors say the councilman and his wife are accused of allegedly accepting bribes of more than $66,000. Prosecutors say the cash was in exchange for actions by the councilman on the zoning of two South Philadelphia properties, including the Old Royal Theater on South Street. Prosecutors believe the money was passed through Johnson's wife's consulting firm. Chavelle had very little to say after her arraignment. You heard what I said in court, so I'm innocent. No comment after that. Thank you. You can talk to my attorney. As we've said all week, we're going to fight this case. These charges are not strong charges. They were brought after an investigation that was flawed by prosecutors who were looking to find a crime instead of looking to find the answers. Bail was set at $15,000 each. They did not have to pay the bail. They were released on their own personal recognizance. Reporting live outside of federal court in Philadelphia, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Shante.